I thought I should stress this because Colonel and I have shared this problem on a few occasions. Because our own alumni come back and say, look, I, I feel very sorry to see IIT Madras in this state of affairs when we find that students are not able to talk very effectively. And they are, over the last few years at least, I would say nearly six, seven years, I've been here for over 20 years, for the last six, seven years, this comment has come even for BTEC students. And I'm really concerned. Okay? I'm really concerned because ordinarily, BTEC students, because they are in a four-year or a five-year program, they are able to sort of make up because it's a sort of cosmopolitan atmosphere. And you're able to build your communication skills. Postgraduates, it's big. I told you the reason. They are coming from vernacular institutions. They would have normally talk in their own local language, maybe Tamil, Marathi, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, or Hindi. And therefore, the difficulty. And you have very little time to, to pick up. Two years will, will just fly like that, you know. So, that's one point I wanted to share with you. There's another aspect to dealing with yourself. And this is a very important aspect, which refers to the buddy system that Colonel had pointed out very effectively. Okay? Uh, this is, uh, uh, I'm sure all of you will agree, this is a part of your life which is perhaps the most, uh, most important part for the rest of your life since it builds the foundation for a long career. Okay? You must understand this point very carefully because while you are at IIT, you're building the foundations for a long career and uh, a very long healthy life. Okay? The reason I'm saying this is many of us get uh, attracted by the first job, the first salary, and so on, without understanding that doesn't mean much. And let me assure you of one thing, because I have data to back me up. Uh, many of the people who have done exceedingly well in their academics may not have struck a, a professionally extremely successful uh, uh, career path. You know, uh, this I, can, I mean, they're doing well. I don't want to take away from that. Many of the toppers are definitely doing very well in their own lives, okay? But the point is, if you're, if you're looking at somebody as a hero in, in certain areas, for example, entrepreneurship uh, uh, to, to, to begin with, because that's one of my pet themes, you find that almost it's inevitably the chaps who are more all-round in their B.Tech days or in their M.Tech days who eventually become that, you know, who become wonderful entrepreneurs whom you will admire, okay? Well, so, which means there is a lot of truth in that notion of trying to balance your life. Okay? And uh, in IIT, it, it is possible for you to keep your academic head well beyond the water level and still enjoy life. I'm a prime example of that. Okay? There are ways to do that, and I think you should focus on that also. Do not forget you're dealing with yourself, building the foundations for a career of nearly 35 years. By the, if you pa graduate out of your B.Tech program, you're going to be 21 or 22 by the time. And usually what happens is most people nowadays tend to go on for a master's program, either abroad or an MBA or whatever it is. It's not uncommon. Okay? And even if you don't do a master's program immediately, it, it, it's the case. We have again data to show that almost everybody does a master's program by the time they're about 27, 28. Okay. Somebody may work for a year or two and then go for a master's program. Everybody does an MBA. I mean, an MBA becomes a, a, a very common thing nowadays. Okay. All right. I'm the head of the Department of Management Studies. I don't need to sell management education today because it's automatically sought after. And even if you don't do, your company will kick you to do one. I can tell you that much. Okay. The company you work for. Because by the time you're 30, you are managing. Even in a hard technical R&D job. Because you're dealing with people, you're dealing with information, you might deal with finances, and so on. You don't have a choice. I hope you got the point I'm making. You simply don't have a choice. By the time you're 30, you are managing. You have to deal with people, issues, and so on. So it is, it's that much wiser if you concentrate on building the foundations right now. That's also part of dealing with yourself. Okay. Now, what is that aspect where the buddy thing comes in? Uh, this is a famous model which some of you would have been exposed to, but I am making a, uh, an assumption that this would be useful to those of you, very useful to those of you who don't know, and would be a refresher for those of you who know. Uh, this comes from the area of behavioral sciences. Uh, it's called the Johari window. Imagine your uh, a four box window, two rows and two columns. Okay? The columns stand for others, and the rows stand for me. Okay? You can easily visualize. 
and the two rows are no and don't know and the columns are no and don't know k n o w no and don't know no and don't know so the first box is i know myself and others know me that's called the arena or open part where communication is smooth there's no communication gap we understand each other okay that part of the personality this deals with human personality also all of us have that this is called arena it's open area there's no loss of communication okay good or bad successful or unsuccessful okay with malice without malice whatever it's clean and straight so you understand each other okay that is the part which perhaps goes back to what i said you build your communication skills where you're clear about yourself you're clear that you're clear okay the second part in dealing with yourself this is important where i don't know i'm coming to the second row don't know i don't know others know so it's column 1 row 2 i don't know others know me which is called the blind spot every one of us has a blind spot in our personality every one of us that's where the body comes in a good friend would would look at you would interact with you and tell you look this part of you you seem to be blind you are not aware that you are carrying this baggage with you this is part of you your personality don't forget this lesson you all of us are have blind spots there's no exception to this so that's where a friend comes in and points out you know saying that look hey macha you're not looking at this at all this aspect of you you're blind so please take care okay then comes row one column two i know others don't know that's the facade all of us put up all of us do that you know you put up a facade you know you are not what you are pretending to be okay and others don't know it's difficult for them to find out but you'll have to manage that but the point is sooner or later you'll be discovered don't forget that it it's just a matter of time before somebody discovers the facade and the, the the thing comes out so it becomes difficult for you to manage that part of you okay and especially in close relationships it's very difficult so when we say dealing with ourselves it has another component also it the dealing with ourselves includes the component of dealing with others because there is a part where the interactions are going to influence how you behave and how you feel and that becomes important so the facade part has to be managed very carefully and then of course the last part which i don't know and others don't know it's generally called god's area well you can't do much about it isn't it but that's where many random signals can come and influence your life you can't do much about it you just have to take it in your stride learn to come you know uh, maintain your composure so that becomes important why do i say dealing with ourselves the anchor concept for me in my life and i'm just sharing this with you it doesn't mean you use it in your life it depends on you depends on your value system one thing which i discovered with a lot of pain over several years that uh, we need an anchor concept in life i found that it was a useful thing for me and when i shared it with my friends they also said yes the idea is seems to be correct it appeals to us okay for me the anchor concept is peace shanti not the girl i mean 